Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Let us discuss how to do the scale for the given data. Let us take the given data. If 1 cm long line on a map represents a real length of 4 meters. Okay, here map has given. In that map, 4 meter means it is 1 cm. Okay, so next line is calculate the RF that is representative factor and draw a diagonal scale long enough to measure up to 50 meters. Here we need to do the diagonal scale which can measure up to 50 meters. After that show a distance of 44.5 meters on it. We need to mark 44.5 meters on the diagonal scale. Okay, This is the given data. Here what type of scale we have to build? Diagonal scale. Diagonal scale means if three consecutive units are given, we have to build the diagonal scale like meters, decimeters and then centimeters. Okay, Three consecutive units will be there. At that time we can build the diagonal scale okay here first take the given data in it first let us take representative factor that is rf rf is drawing length to the actual length Drawing length means whatever line we are doing in centimeters or millimeters, okay, in the sheet, in the given space, it is a drawing length. Actual length means whatever in meters, kilometers they are giving length, okay, that is that length, okay. So, he is telling 1 centimeter is equal to, 1 centimeter long line on a map represents a real length of 4 meters. So, it is 4 meters. So instead of 4 meters, here we are taking 1 centimeter, convert this also in centimeters. Just I will write 1 centimeter here, 4 meters. Okay. Just convert the units. All units are in centimeters because we are using the normal scale for doing the line. It is in centimeters. 1 by 4 meters means 400 centimeters. Okay. 1 meter means 100 centimeters. So RF value is 1 by 400. Okay. And then write down here. Rf is equal to representative factor 1 by 400. Here Rf is equal to 1 by 400. Okay. So Rf is nothing but representative factor. Okay. Is equal to the same formula ratio I am taking. Drawing length to the actual length. It is equal to, just now we have calculated 1 by 400. Okay. Now here drawing length means, as I told previously, we had to do the, in we had to do the length in the drawing sheet. Okay. That is called drawing length. Actual length means here we have to measure up to 50 meters maximum limit. Okay, that value we have to take here actual length. Let us take here. We need to calculate drawing length. So I will keep drawing length here this side. Is equal to 1 by 400 into actual length. So here 1 by 400 into what is the actual length? It is the maximum limit of the scale, 50 meters. As I told, we are taking the drawing length in centimeters or mm. Okay. So convert this into centimeters. So here I will write 400. 50 meters means 1 meter means 100 centimeter. Into 100 I will take. Okay. Now here remove these two zeros. 50 by 4. Okay, so let us do this 12.5 centimeters. So it is nothing but drawing length. Drawing length is equal to 12.5 centimeter. So here we have to take the line length is scale length is 12.5 centimeter. It is nothing but maximum limit of the scale, it is 50 meters. Okay. So we are taking this scale 12.5 centimeter instead of 50 meters line. Okay, let us do the line of 12.5 centimeter here. So here I will do the line of 12.5 centimeter. Mark the endpoints. Join it. Give the names A and B. After doing this line for the diagonal scale, give some width for it. We are calling it is arbitrary width. For diagonal scale, take either 3 centimeter or 4 centimeter. Here I will take 4 cm line. This side also give width of 4 cm. Join these two ends. 
take this as a reference mark the endpoints now a b c d is a scale can measure up to 50 meters okay so here in it we need to mark 44.5 meters okay so for marking it just divide this scale into some parts okay here i will divide this length whatever length is here into five equal divisions each part is 10 10 meters okay so divide this length into five equal divisions as we have one processor dividing any line into some number of parts of equal length here take any one point just join with a okay. join with a we will get inclined line like this so this angle should be less than 90 degrees okay is it less than 90 yes it is less than 90 90 means it is coming like this okay straight line this angle is 90 okay we have to take the line of the angle less than 90 okay now divide this inclined line into five equal divisions by using the compass in compass take any radius okay no need to measure just take any radius for the bigger line take bigger radius so it will be easy for us doing the parts take some little bigger one and divide this into this line into five equal divisions five parts one this is center second part third one four this is center five now join this point to last point d With drafter scale, you have to do the lines at all the points parallel to this last line. Okay, fix the drafter scale here and move the scale like this. Here, I am using roller scale for doing the parallel lines. At this point, do the parallel line. Here, at these points, intersection points, do the vertical lines. Okay, take this line as the reference line. Here do one vertical line. So what we did, we have divided this 50 meters into 5 parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Each part is 10 meters. Okay. Now this is also 10 meters. Divide this 10 meters into 10 parts. So we are dividing 10 meters into 10 parts means each part is 1, 1 meter. Okay. For dividing this A0 length into 10 equal divisions, again we have to follow the same process. We have to do the inclined line here. We have to take some radius by using compass. We have to divide into 10 parts. Instead of doing at the same side, here I will do. Okay, we have Our main aim is we have to divide this line into 10 parts. So just take one angle line here. Take any one of the point. Join that point to D. Okay, and uh, divide this line into 10 divisions. Take any radius, take small radius so that we have to divide this small length. Okay, this angle is less than 90. Okay, so we have to take less angle. Now take some little radius, divide this line into 10 parts. First part, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. 8th, 9th, 10th. Join this last point to this end okay, with the help of scale. So after getting the inclined line, at all the points, do the lines parallel to this line, last line. Okay, with drafter scale, you can fix the drafter scale, you can move it at all points, you will get the parallel lines. Here I am using roller scale. So this scale should coincide with this inclined line and move the scale like this and do the parallel line. Here these intersection points dividing this length into 10 equal divisions. Here we have to mark the same divisions what I am taking with the help of scale one of the reference line take this scale should coincide with it just take the first part here here take the point okay this is the first one second part third part 
फोर्थ वन फिफ्थ सिक्स सेवेंथ वन एट नाइन्थ वन ओके लास्ट वन इज टेंथ वन हियर आफ्टर डिवाइडिंग दिस ए जीरो इंटू टेन इक्वल डिविशन हियर जॉइन दिस जीरो टू फर्स्ट वन इफ यू आर जॉइनिंग जीरो टू द लास्ट पॉइंट वी आर गेटिंग अ वर्टिकल लाइन ओके इंस्टेड ऑफ गेटिंग वर्टिकल लाइन्स वी हैव टू गेट द डायग्नल्स दैट्स वाई वी आर कॉलिंग दिस स्केल इज डायग्नल स्केल जॉइन जीरो टू द फर्स्ट पार्ट ओके वन जॉइन वन टू नेक्स्ट वन टू लाइक दैट ओके लेट एस सी हियर जॉइन जीरो टू वन वी आर गेटिंग द इंक्लाइन लाइन लाइक दिस सी हियर वी आर गेटिंग द इंक्लाइन लाइन अगेन आफ्टर दैट हियर वन हियर सेकेंड पार्ट ओके जस्ट डू द लाइन हियर आफ्टर दैट लाइक दैट यू हैव टू डू द इंक्लाइन लाइन्स एट ऑल द पॉइंट्स Okay, like that we are getting the diagonals instead of the vertical straight lines. Okay, that's why this scale is called diagonal scale. So each part is one one meter. Here we did the ten divisions. So after getting the diagonals, give the intersection point after zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here ten at a point. Okay. Now here these are the ten ten meters. ओके हियर ईच डिवीजन इन टेन मीटर्स ईच डिवीजन इज वन वन मीटर आफ्टर दैट टेक दिस वन मीटर दिस सैड सो अगेन टेक दिस वन मीटर इंटू टेन पार्ट डिवेड दिस वन मीटर इंटू टेन पार्ट वाई मीन वन मीटर इज ईक्वल टू टेन डेसी मीटर्स ओके सो हियर टेक दिस वन मीटर इंटू टेन पार्ट सो हियर वी हेव टू डिवेड दिस एडी लेंथ हाउ टू डिवेड द एडी लेंथ इंटू टेन पार्ट मीन जस्ट टेक वन पॉइंट हियर do the inclined line as i told this angle should be less than 90 degrees okay take some radius okay a as center just do an arc here and next this intersection point as center do another arc 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 Nine, ten. Okay, after that, join this last point to this last corner with the help of scale. Now, draw all the points to the parallel lines. I'm using roller scale for doing the parallel lines. Here, after getting the intersection points, at all these points, do the parallel line. Here, take this is the reference line. At the first intersection point, do the parallel line. Here, at the next point. At these intersection points, give the numbering. So here, take start from. Zero. Okay, this point I am marking zero. Here one, here two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This point is ten. This is our diagonal scale. This scale we are using for marking the three consecutive units. Here three consecutive units means here ten meters, here meters, here decimeters. So three types of units we are marking. We are calling those units are consecutive units. For marking three consecutive units, we are using the diagonal scale. Okay, so you need here write down meters. Each box is ten ten meters. Okay, the total is fifty meters, and here this box is ten meters, and each part is one one meter again. Okay, that's why here also write down meters. Here also write instead of ten meters, just write the units meters. Okay, this side write the decimeter. Each one one box is one decimeter. The entire is ten decimeters. That is one meter. Okay, write the RF value at the end of that scale. 
in it in the given question we have to mark this value show a distance of 44.5 meters on it okay here in this box we have to show the 44.5 meters 40 meters means from 0 to 4 40 meters we can do okay so here I have written 44.5 meters we have to mark okay so we can uh, take the expanded form 40 meters plus 4.5 meters shall we write like this okay so that if we join these two we are getting the same value why I am taking 40 meters means each is 10 10 meters so up to this 40 meters okay so 40 meters we can show on this side and then plus instead of 4.5 meters I am taking 4 meters plus 0.5 meters okay it is nothing but 4.5 here so 4 meters which side we can show in the given scale here this side we can show because each box is 1 1 meter 4 means it is coming here 4 meters and 0.5 meters so we have to convert in terms of decimeters so take down here same as it is values 40 meters plus 4 meters plus 0.5 into 1 meter means just now I told 10 decimeters into 10 okay so write down values 40 plus 4 meters plus 0.5 into 10 means 5 decimeters okay first take this value 40 meters from 0 okay 10 meters 20 meters 30 meters 40 meters just do one extension line in this direction like this after 40 meters mark 4 meters okay 4 meters means this line which is passing through 4 okay and then take 5 decimeters 5 decimeter means this side so 5 here take 5 decimeter take the intersection point of 4 meters 5 decimeters so this is 4 meter 5 decimeter 1 intersection point at this intersection point do the vertical extension line take this is the vertical reference line by using roller scale at this point do the vertical line like this okay so this gap will give this value 44.5 meters for marking the dimension just do one dimensional line between the extension lines give the arrows at both sides mark this value 44.5 meters okay in this way we can mark the given dimension here if they are asking mark 50 meters at the time we have to do one extension line here one extension line here total is 50 meters if they are asking some other value instead of it let us take one example 32 point some 7 meters okay so here you can write 30 meters plus 2.7 meters if you are adding this we, are, we will get this value just divide for marking the dimensions clearly 30 meters plus 2 meters plus 0.7 meters okay so we can write like this so keep as it is 30 meters plus 2 meters 0.7 meters means 1 meter means 10 decimeter 0.7 into 10 okay decimeters 30 meters plus 2 meters 0.7 into 10 means 7 decimeters okay so mark it here 30 meters means from 0 to 3 just do one line here extension line and then take the intersection point of 2 meters and 7 decimeters 2 meters means from this second line okay and 7 decimeters means from this here one line take the intersection point 2 meters so 7 decimeters take this intersection point at this point do the extension line we should do like this and mark the dimension in between this gap so this gap will give this value 32.7 meters so like that we had to take the expanded form and we had to mark the dimension okay in the sheet you no need to do all these things you do roughly okay only you have to do the diagram and write down these units and write rf value do the entire diagram with pencil not with pen just for showing the clear view in the camera i'm using sketch pens and pen so if you like this lecture please press the like button subscribe my channel and share with your friends thank you for watching